Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a foundation routine video today. So I'm pretty much going to show you what I do right from the beginning to the end on my face makeup. So that's why I look very bare. I pretty much only have my brows, a little bit of mascara on and some lip gloss. And yeah, the rest is just me teaching you how to do my face makeup. And I'll be showing you the products I use, how I do it, what tools I use to apply my makeup and all of that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to see how I do this full coverage foundation routine please keep on watching so it's literally the morning and i haven't even moisturized yet i've only washed my face so i'm just going to be using the cetaphil ultra hydrating lotion 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 for dry to very dry skin um i usually use uh, the shiseido white lucent range i use it every day but my skin has been uh, feeling really dehydrated lately so i need some moisture so i'm just going to pop a bit of that on my fingers and moisturize it all over my face so I actually switched between the two I've got Time Balm uh, face primer which I got from Pagan Marie which is a New Zealand website I'll leave the link down below for my New Zealand viewers and then I also got the professional um, given to me by a lady from Benefit and I love both of these so much and I definitely notice the difference. I will be doing reviews on each of these. Um, but this one is a bit more pricier and I do love this one. So I will be repurchasing again. So I'm trying to make it last. So I switch between the two. But today I'm just going to be using the Time Balm one. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit manly. I don't know why. I mean I just woke up like a few hours ago. So I'm guessing that's what it is. Anyways, I've kind of thing that across my fingers and I'm just going to apply that all over my face especially concentrating on my chin my nose um, and my forehead because that's where I get the most oil and I like this uh, face primer too because I have an oily t-zone and dehydrated cheeks and it's quite a velvety primer so it does help keep my oils from coming through making my makeup melt off but it also um, keeps my skin moisturized. Bonus. After face primer, I go in with my foundation. Now, my most favorite foundation to use is the Revlon Colorstay Foundation, and I'm a natural tan, um, but I've ran out of my foundation. So in the meanwhile, I've been using the Mayron Celeb Cream Makeup, and um, the shade is actually rubbed off so I can't tell you what shade I am but it's really nice and definitely yellow based and has super full coverage which I like. Now this has more of a fresh dewy, not overly dewy but it does have a fresh finish to it so I do set it with powder but that's what I'll be using today and also my EXO flat top kabuki brush. And you guys are going to see how super full coverage this foundation is. It's awesome! Comment below if you are a full coverage person like me. I think it just looks real, just flawless pretty much. A lot of people like my freckles and they see my freckles in my videos and I'm like, whoa, I'm sure I covered that up. So this is pretty much the finish of the foundation. Um, it has amazing coverage, I love it. But I do like my color stay a lot better, but that is pretty much the coverage it gives. Now the next thing you want to do is um, apply some concealer on any blemishes you have. Foundations I use are quite full coverage, so I don't really need to cover blemishes. Um, but I do have this new concealer that I got from Studio Glam, and it is quite yellow. And I'm actually going to use this, use this, <laughs> use this under my eyes. Because I only really use concealer to highlight under my eyes. I mean, I do have a highlighting pen, which I'll be using next. But just to give the extra highlighted effect, I always put concealer on first. So I'm just dabbing that under my eyes. Do -do 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 -do. Next I'm using a Art Deco Illuminating Pen and I really like this one. This is in the shade 8. There's two shades 
um, and you can get it from farmers if you're in New Zealand. There's two shades, there's like a yellow one and a pink one. Of course I'm a medium olive tone so I will be using the more yellow one. If you're fair, um, most, uh, most fair skin usually goes for pink but totally up to you. So I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. I'll definitely be running out of this really um, fast because I pretty much use this stuff every day. And I'm just going to dab that in with my finger. You can use, actually I do have a brush. You can use like one of these um, if you've got one of the EXO Beauty sets or her Kabuki, uh, Kabuki, her Kabuki brush sets or anything that looks like this. So this is really good for applying dabbing conceal underneath. But I do prefer to use my finger instead. So I'm just going to work that in with my ring finger. Um, also, if you really want to learn um, how to really highlight and contour, pretty much like a professional, um, I have a friend, her name's Gio. I don't know how to pronounce your her full name is like Giovanne. Um, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but I'm going to leave her video down below because she is amazing at contouring and highlighting. I mean, I just do the basic way, um, but she really does it like full on highlight um, contouring, like pretty much Kim Kardashian looking. So, uh, you definitely check out her video if you're really into that and want to learn because she actually does teach you. Um, properly how to do it step by step um, so definitely check out her video next grabbing um, another uh, flat top kabuki brush I have a whole heap of these um, of different brands this one is the RC Cosmetics one and I'm just going to grab a darker foundation this is the I have all the colors this is the Mayron Slip Cream Makeup and in the color medium dark 4 and I'm just going to put this on the edge so I don't actually have a proper brush to do this. And I'm just going to slightly contour with this cream product. Also my friend I was talking about earlier on today, she does um, videos on how to contour and highlight using um, powder products and also cream products. So if you're wanting for more of a natural look and you want to learn how to contour with cream products, check out her video because she has that too. But I just do my cheeks mainly. And I'm just going to lightly blend that upwards. And yeah, cream contouring actually is a bit more natural looking. Um, I don't often contour with cream products, but. Um, yeah, I have been trying it out these past few days. Now I'm going to go in with my EXO Beauty Dome Synthetic Kabuki Brush and I'm just going to clean up under my contour line. And this just makes it more um, sharper and defined. If you're into that, which I definitely am, just gonna clean that up. Now I'm gonna go in with some setting powder, and this is actually my first time using. It. I bought it a few days ago. This is the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. So it's a loose powder, and it is super fine and feels amazing um, when you put it on your skin. Um, so if you're someone like me and doesn't like the powder look or the matte look but you really want to set your foundation I definitely recommend this it's amazing and I'm going to be using the EXO Beauty Kabuki brush and I and I love this for applying powder too I have a lot of powder brushes but not a short one like this I find these much better so I'm just going to dust that on just go in and set my face makeup. Now 
Oh wow, it's smoky. Oh wow. Okay, I definitely don't need much of that stuff. Oh man, that powder's just all over the place. And I have like this kind of crease line under my eye, so I really need to sit under there. I hate sitting under my eyes though, because I don't like it looking dry. But then I get creases and I'm like, oh, you never win. So yeah, just sitting there and... Now I'm going in with some contour powder. This is the Sleek Contour Palette. I have the light and the medium. I do like the light one, but if I want something more stronger, I do like the medium as well. So I kind of switch between both. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be applying that as my contour. And I'm using the Exo Beauty Small Tapered Face Brush, which is my favorite for contouring with face products. Because it's small and it's just, to me, it's just my type of contour brush. So I'm popping a little bit of that. Make sure you always tap off um, the all powder products. And I'm just gonna contour, focusing mainly where my temple is. Over here, not going far too down. Actually, I should see too far down. See that backwards. Jeez, Joe. So I'm just enhancing that contour. And don't forget, I do have a Diva ring light. And um, it's quite bright, so it washes out a bit so this will be probably a little bit more stronger in real life and then I'm just going to contour down my nose because I have a flat moldy nose short and stubby like my body <laughs> and then I'm going to contour around the frame of my face because I have a Rihanna forehead which isn't too bad but you know sometimes I just want a small forehead <laughs> and then you want to bring that around the frame of your face as well okay so another new product I've been using because if you follow me on Facebook you guys know I lost my favorite bronzer I have got one coming on the way but I did lose my favorite bronzer, which was the um, the Balm Beauty Luminizer. Now that bronzer is like a shimmery bronzer, so I used to contour and then add that over the top. Um, but before then, I actually used a Maybelline Dream Terror Sun Bronzer, which was a matte one, and I loved that one. But I thought I'd try something new, so while I was over at the Stratus brand, I bought the bronzing powder in Golden, and it's quite fine as well, which I like. Um, it has a little bit of shimmer, not too much, but when I put it on, it's quite like a matte look, um, matte bronzer, which I quite like. So yeah, I'll be applying that, and I love this bronzer as a blusher, because I don't really wear a lot of blush, as you guys probably noticed on some of my videos. So using the same tempered brush from um, XO Beauty, I'm just going to apply that all over my cheeks, up to my temple. And this is actually the type of bronzer that I could just stick on, like just pretty much just whack it on and not worry about it being like, holy crap, all across my cheeks. So yeah, just applied that and I'm not going in with any blush. Actually no, I will. I usually don't, but if I were to use a blush over the top, the one I've been loving is this one here. And this is from the... Sorry, mine's dirty as, but that's the new palette, Rockstar palette by The Balm. And inside there, they have like, um, Don't You Want Me blush over here. And it's such a pretty peachy pink color. So I'm just going to apply that on the apples off my cheeks, very softly. This is probably going to be like the longest video ever, but I hope you guys enjoy me um, doing a tutorial where I'm actually talking to you and not just making you listen to music. Um, so yeah, if you like these kind of videos, please let me know if you want to talk to me or anything. And then I'm going back in with my EXO Beauty foundation brush that I used earlier on, the Kabuki Fat Top. And I'm just tidying around 
anywhere pretty much. I don't know why I do this, I think it makes a difference. Now I still have two more products to go, you guys are probably thinking like, oh my gosh, this is what she does every morning, yes it is, it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes to do my full face and makeup, um, and it's actually my face is the fastest thing to do, uh, I take most of my time on my brows and my eye makeup, but yes I do this every morning when I am working. Now the next uh, product I'm using is the Mary Luminize, and this is a highlighting powder, and I'm just going to do that above my cheekbones. And a little bit down here. And a little bit down my nose. Not too much because don't forget this is a bit shimmery. You don't want to look like a disco ball. Well actually I wouldn't mind looking like a disco ball but you know in a good way not a bad way. So yeah just down my nose. My cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin. Pretty much the bits that you want to pop out. There's a bit of um, construction work going on outside, so excuse the noise. And we're also doing a bit of renovation in the house as well. So just excuse all the no noise around us. And there's some crickets or something cricketing outside. Uh, but anyways, this is the finished look here. This is what I do every morning. And these are the products I've been using for the past few days. Um, and I love all the products, especially the face primers, like the um, Porfish, uh, Professional one is really great, especially on my nose, here, and kind of between my brows and my forehead, that is where I have my pores. They're not overly large, but they are there, and at the end of the night, my uh, foundation starts to separate around those areas. So I've definitely noticed the difference with that, as well as the Time Balm face primer really smooths out the skin and you feel the difference straight away once you put your foundation on so I've been loving those products and all of the other new products I've got I'm just in love with them and um, yeah this is pretty much the way I like to do my face makeup every day even if I was going out things are still the same um, so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial I have a lot of people who ask me how I do my makeup so this is a full coverage tutorial Pretty much what I do every day. Now if you guys did like this um, video and me showing you what I use and me actually talking to you and all that kind of stuff, please thumbs up this video, let me know and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye!